and I know the question on everyone's mind is, why is she using that font? <laughs> Whoa. Ah! Ah! I don't even know. Because the best dream collab of all time was... <laughs> so who even am I? I'm Tanya. Um, I studied international development at UC Berkeley, which is where you're studying like what nonprofits do. So not all of them have good strategies on actually like working with people and helping people. I started my own media company too to make heli collaborations with underground artists. Yeah. So who are y'all? Like who even are y'all? Y'all are badasses. Um, I found this like video pre-recorded of the crowd just like being awesome. So anyway, one day you're hunting for new projects and you're dressed like a duck. And it dawns on you that your understanding of yourself as a singular entity is only possible when defined in opposition to an other that isn't you. And then you have that same thought again in English. <laughs> then you tweet about it like a lot. It's like on your mind. You're like, damn, like I should work with these other people that aren't me. Um, and not just like any other people, but like people who are like hashtag be oppressed. You know, like there's so many people that are just treated bad by the system. We don't understand. They're not already out here making the stuff you're making. You want to change how people think about different types of people. You know, but you're smart. You want to stay in your lane. You know, you want to make meaningful impact. And, but you realize that your thought that you had while you were hunting, you are only you because you're not these other people. So how do you even know how to act right if you're not then? Um, so this is why I'm going to talk about a guide to collaborating without being sus. And pretend the song Act Right by Yo Gotti was different place in the matrix that gives us a different positionality because we're embedded in all these weird hegemonic things like these are all huge words like you can use them to sound smart but like actually don't use them because we're trying to be accessible what it means is you only experience one thing like how your race affects you your gender blah 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 so oh. <laughs> This is so hard, sorry. That being said, when you're collaborating with someone that's in a different subject position than you, aka like other people, you want to make sure that you're doing a good job. And the, so I'm going to give you the secret sauce right now, that you have to be empowering and sustainable. So, okay. Um, a lot of people have heard this saying probably. Give a man a fish, you feed him for a day. But if you teach a man a fish, you feed him for a lifetime. But this is like really problematic. Um, because like, what if I'm not a man? <laughs> what if I'm allergic to fish? What if fish are endangered and like key to my environment? And what if I generate my own fuel and thus forego food because I'm an evolution of humanity that some people call mutants, for which I'm persecuted and that's actually why I need help. <laughs> you only got the answers, okay? Um, so the answer is that the major key here is co-design, okay? You know, okay, so yeah, how do you do that? Step one, be a baby. Um, so give away all the experiences that you ever thought you had, and just like be all ears, you know? Like all these Looney Tunes. And just learn from the people that you're actually trying to help. Like they know what they've gone through, they know what they need, they have like opinions and like histories and wisdom and all this stuff, and they'll like think of stuff that like maybe you didn't think of. Then, once you do that and commit to learning, all these are questions like, what should we make? Who are we making it for? Where should we make it? How are we gonna make it? Like, that will all come into place. Um, I know it's like over five minutes, but like, please add so many te technical difficulties. <laughs> like, it's almost over, it's like the, pretty much almost last slide. Okay, so step two is the sustainability part. Um, and the ghost of compensation will haunt you um, if you don't make sure that's a two-way street. So everyone involved should feel like there's a fair exchange. So if your collaborator feels ownership on what you made, picked up skills, and is able to carry on the project beyond you, like if you're not key to the project to new existing, that existence, then that's considered like a win and sustainable development, basically. And it's not just about their growth, trust me, you will grow too. Michael Jordan would not have done his most important dunk of all time or made a basketball comeback to the Bulls if it wasn't for the Looney Tunes. <laughs> so find people who are different than you that you wouldn't think to collab with and jam with them. Final song. If I can even go to it. Alright, my mouth shut. Go mouse. Do it.
Alright, Helen Hahn. Yeah, Helen! 